Greetings and salutations. My name is Tish and welcome to the Artist Haven, where home plus art equals heart. In tonight's live video broadcast, it is Tish Talk, where normally I have an artist to interview, but tonight I wanted to find out, I wanted to do a little research um, as to what kind of questions you would ask, what, what questions, you know, do you wonder about because these interviews this whole channel is about you guys the viewers out there and building a community so i wanted to kind of open up the floor and find out what kind of questions you would like to ask um on a more regular basis and then also if you have any ideas for the lightning round pew 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 because we know lightning doesn't make that noise but <laughs> um let me know in the comments and um you know it's just i want to make it more about you guys and what you guys want to know versus what i want to know because this is technically my channel but i leave it open to everyone so um while we're talking and doing some general shenanigans um i'm gonna i had an idea because i've been seeing all these chain pulls and they're all really beautiful and pretty and stuff but i thought what if i did a flip cup and then the parts that I didn't like so much I did a chain pull through those so I'm just gonna start with a little 8x10 canvas here um, I'm gonna use up some of the paints that I already have mixed up and we're gonna mix up two little um, I forgot to grab cups ah, two little Dixie cups because that should give us enough paint so there's the two little Dixie cups they're just the little two ounce dealing with bobs so let's take a moment and say hello to those in chat. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Sue. Good day from Ose. Me and my bad, bad, bad accent. Hello, Amber and Cheryl. Hello, hello. So wonderful to see you. And Daphne is here as well. Whoop, whoop. So, and there is Brooke. Hello, Brooke. So, um, the normal questions I ask are, you know, what, you know, where are you from? What do you do? You know, where can we find you? Because I, I use Tish Talk as an opportunity for you to put, to push your, your, your art or, you know, where, whatever it is you do. Because I do have some people lined up um, that I'm trying to get lined up to do Tish Talk. Um, and if I don't have, if, um if i don't have anybody <laughs> for like next week I'll, I'll go back to the old format which was just you know helpful tips and tricks um as an artist um just to see what what um what you guys do so we're going to put a little bit of this pink right here Come on. There we go. This is just a foam tray. Um, I get them. I get them at the dollar store. They it's kind of a hit or miss thing to get those. Okay, let's go with a little bit of purple. There's not very much of this purple left, which is fine. <laughs> Hello, Elisa. Who are your biggest influences? That's a good one. What in life influences you? Awesome, awesome. I um, I'm glad I brought these up because it's been one of those weeks at YouTube where apparently my chat doesn't want to come through right away. So, um. I started a new notebook today because <laughs> I can't find my old one. I, I honestly, honestly, I'm going to blame the cat because I think I had it sitting up on the dresser. And I think she knocked it behind the dresser, but there's so much stuff in front of the dresser. It would just be easier to just let it stay there and start a new one. So, um, 
Yes, I'm old school. I actually use notebooks and kind of do that thing. All right. I'm going to try and get rid of the rest of this purple so we can put this one in the bin. Because these ones I don't wash. Um, they end up breaking. So I do reuse my sticks, though, to the point where there's more paint than stick. Okay, we already did that one. Let's do the Prussian blue. Come on. Really? There we go. <laughs> Hello, Doris. <laughs> oh, I heard, I saw alcohol. Why not just say all alcohol? <laughs> what is your favorite beer, wine, or liquor? Hey, that, that, you know, that can let you into a lot of, a lot of, uh, insight on a person's on a person's taste and taste in life you know i i'm partial to rum specifically kraken rum because i like spice rum but i don't like captain morgan and i don't like sailor jerry okay this is kind of a layered not layered flip cup there we go. And put a little bit of this down. And what I'll do is I'll cover this with this thing here. I'll either scrape it off into one of my drip bowls or um, or I will dude. Um, or I'll just cover it and use it for something else. I don't know what else I'd use it for, but We'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay. Let's put that on there. And we're going to bring out... Oh, I love... This is like my favorite color other than purple and red and blue. <laughs> I love this green gold. I don't know why I love it so much. I just do. So we're just going to put a little bit of this in there. Because there's only a little bit left. But purple is always my favorite. Always has been, always will be. Okay, let's put a little bit of this on, on the little chamber hole thing. There we go. Put a little bit. See what we can get off the bottom. Off the bottom. Oh, little air bubbles in there. We don't get any gloops. We don't want gloops. Gloops are bad. But it happens. That's why I always have my tweezers at the ready. Okay. All right. That should be good. And we're going to put some teal in here. And then some white and then we should be good there's not much of this teal left just a tiny bit so I'm just gonna put a tiny bit in okay there we go and then we should have just enough to Put some on this plate. Oh, I need to get my box fan fixed or either to get another one. Okay, that should be good. There we go. Let's scrape this off in the cup. There we go. Put that over there. Oh, I forgot to grab a stick for this guy. 
<coughs> oh, Jay is my man. <laughs> Fireball. How has art changed? How has your art changed over time? Hmm, that's a good. Who would you want to meet? Dead or alive? Hmm, that's a good one too. Let's see. Do, do, do. Yeah, Robin Williams. That would be amazing. Hello, Mike. Good to see you. Just getting some ideas on interview questions and some ideas for the lightning round. Well, hello, Darnell. Good to see you as well. Awesome. And Claire is here. Howdy, howdy. <laughs> Who are we interviewing? We are picking your guys' brain as to far as far as who what questions would you want to know? What do you think would be good questions to ask someone in an interview? So hello Dina. J Lo. <laughs> I don't know if I'd want to meet her. If you could paint with anyone, dead or alive, who would you choose? That's 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 a good one. You guys are coming up with some really good questions. Cause see, here's the thing: I want to keep continue to do interviews, but I want to you know what? let's put some paints. No, let's just do white. Um, I want to continue to do interviews of anybody you know, people from YouTube, people from all you know creative sides that it doesn't matter if you're a fluid artist or you know what kind of artist you are i just want to see this is the cloud white if i remember correctly i don't remember i didn't write it on the top of the plastic like i usually do all right so we're gonna dump a little bit of this in here Try not to spill it before I even get it flipped. Okay, since we have a lot of white, I'm not going to put this on the plate. So, because truth be told, I don't want to be boring. I want to ask the good questions, the things that you guys want to know. You know, inquiring minds want to know. I never went to school for journalism or anything like that, so I don't know. <laughs> All right. Whoa, see? And I haven't I haven't even finished my first adult beverage for the evening. I usually only have one anyway, just so you know. Hello, Evelyn. And hello, Anne. I didn't see you sneak in. Spicy or mild? I wish I could do spicy. What was your biggest adventure? That, yeah, that's, that can be taken in a lot of different ways. <laughs> Eminem, my husband is your friend now. I love Eminem. Hello, Monica. You know what I always say? Better late than never. Because I was born two weeks late and I've been trying to catch up ever since. <laughs> okay, so let's flippy dippy. I've never had to rely on one of these, but I've become pretty reliant on this guy now because of my hand strength. But I've been using my ball, my squishy ball, when I'm sitting and watching a live or I'm working on something and it, it works really good for a stress ball and it's a dollar and you know how can you not love that face and look at the face face is smiling and then it's loving and I'm squishing it <laughs> favorite cringeworthy word that's a good one too hello Chris 
Thank you for joining us tonight. <laughs> Dina, Dina and I are on the same level. <laughs> a medium you've dreamed of playing with. You know, how about a medium that you'd love to go back to, but don't have the room for it? Because I would love to start doing pottery again. I haven't done pottery since high school. And I actually was part of a mentorship program between my junior and senior year. And Roxanne Sorensen was her name. I should see if I can find her. Of course, I'm old now, so who knows? <laughs> yeah, everybody's, yeah. <laughs> I'd be Hendrix for male and Stevie Nicks. Stevie Nicks is amazing. See, ceramics are fun. I, lo I love I love getting dirty. I love playing in I love for a reason to play in mud. Come on. Who do you wish you could paint like? I you know, I feel old today. <laughs> Yeah, Stevie's amazing. What is art to you? You guys are awesome. These are some awesome questions. See, I'm glad I came up with this because I was like, I was, I'm struggling to have different, different uh, uh, ideas. Okay, I'm gonna squishy this out. And bring it up here. You know, one of the questions I was going to ask is, um, if you could meet some one of your online friends, who would it be? You know, and I, you know, I would have to travel the country for like I don't know six months because I have so many people that I'd want to meet, and I'd have to start. I'd have to start on the West Coast because, or on the East Coast, because that's where a lot of them live. I'd have to actually, you know what? I have to go down south and then come back up around the West Coast and then go over to the East Coast. Or no, go to the East Coast and then go to the West Coast. Just don't want to go to the East Coast in hurricane season. That's probably why I wouldn't <laughs> go there. All right, let's try. So we're going to kind of wreck this pour. Oops. Without It's a chain wreck maybe. I don't know. I don't know where I'd start first. I've never been to the East Coast. I've been to New York State, but that's that's as far as I've gone. Um, my ex-husband on our anniversary brought me to Niagara Falls. I wanted to go. Okay, here's the thing. I wanted to go to either Boston because this is back when CBGB's was still open. And that is the birthplace of so much music. Or I wanted to go to New Orleans. And this was before Katrina happened. So... But he's like, no, we're going to Niagara Falls because it's beautiful and romantic. I'm like, I don't want to go to Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls will be there in 100 years. <gasps> oh, yes, I, I'm coming to Canada. I have like $60 Canadian, too. So <laughs> something on your to-do list. Hello, Heather. Good to see you. So the other thing, too, is I, I, I would love to interview all of you that come to my chat and you live 45 minutes from the, the falls are absolutely stunning. The Canadians have the better side, the better view, though. And I'll never go on Skyline Tower again. <laughs> East Coast, I'm waiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've never been to the East Coast, so I got to see. <laughs> on a desert island, I can only take three art supplies. 
so anyways i would love to interview you guys i would love to come on here promote your art promote your creativeness promote your channel promote you guys because that's that's what my channel's about it's not about the art i create it's about the art and what you create the music okay trying to figure out what i like the best here we're gonna go this way first because there's a lot of paint on this canvas i'm gonna bring it on back bring it around town so if you're interested in promoting yourself and your business and are willing to open up and share your thoughts and feelings because we've had um, Clara's been on Tish Talk, Doris has been on Tish Talk, Brenda's been on Tish Talk, um, Chris has been on Tish Talk, and Chris, you know, Chris was fun. I need to get Johnny and Brian and some other guys on here too. Okay, so I'm going to leave it kind of like this. Because we are going to wreck it with a chain pull. And I didn't get any napkins ready or paper towels ready. So here we go. Box of towels. I need to get some more. I have a box that I haven't opened yet. But I go through these so quickly. And I tried, I tried using just regular towels and then just washing them, like rinsing them out in the sink. But then I felt bad because I was rinsing all that paint down the sink. And it's like, okay, that's not good. So paper towels, biodegradable. They're made from recycled content. So I feel better using paper towels in this instance. Because normally, I, I mean, when I mop the floor, I use I have a certain towel that I use and then I wash it. Okay, so let's tip this a little bit. So we're going to take this chain and we're going to dip it just like that. And then Lay that on the side. Turn this around. Eh. I've been cleaning and organizing my studio because I have a bunch of stuff that I want to put on the website. So I need to finish it up. And there's a bunch of stuff that I'm going to put. I'm going to have it. We're going to have an attic page where I put just some of the stuff that I cool stuff that I find. Okay. So we're going to kind of go like this. There is a lot of paint on here. Whoop, Shiza. Let's try that again. Trey, it's raining right here now. Okay, so that looks kind of cool. I'm gonna do one kind of like right here and kind of pull it in and around that way. So let's see how this does. Let's see how this does. I'm not going to dip it all. I'm 
Alright, kind of cool. So I'm just going to kind of pull it slow. So it's my problem is I like to go fast. I need to just breathe. Cool. I want to do one more. I think, hold on, I need to spray this off a little bit. I'm going to get Mr. Mr. out. And for those of you who are new to the channel, first off, let me say welcome. Golly jeepers, Tish. What kind of hostess are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining us tonight. If you're enjoying our vibe and want to join a little creative artist tribe, all you got to do is click subscribe. But I'm going to take Mr. Mister, which is, this is my Mr. Mister. Mrs. Mister is, is no longer in commission right now. I got to see if I can fix her. I have two of the misting bottles. Everything's Mr. and Mrs. I have Mr. Chunky and Mrs. Chunky. Oh, maybe I could bring out one of those. I mean, we'll do that later. We'll do that another time. So, <clears throat> let's see. I'm not going to do so much. We're just going to kind of dip it like that. Okay, I'm going to turn this around. And we're going to kind of make a bigger loop this time. And There we go. I'm going to pull one straight, just a straight dip. I'm going to bring some of this pink right here. Oops, kind of fudged that up already. I'm going to bring this. 
right through here. Okay. I'm going to give this a little bit of a tilt and a torch. Let me get this wiped out. <laughs> We're talking about green moon parties. What? <laughs> yeah, I know. I get. I was like concentrating. I didn't want to go too fast. So I'm like counting all the watermelons in my head. <laughs> That's why... I, like one watermelon, two watermelon, three watermelon. People think I'm crazy because I count watermelons, but that's what gets me to to remember to remember to be slow. It's like doing a resin swipe, right, Doris? <laughs> okay, I think that's all we're gonna do for that right now. But let's I'm gonna tip this a little bit because I want to get some of this off because I think. We'll give it a little bit more interest if we just tip a little bit of that off. There. Bring that in a little bit. I'm just going to kind of rock it back and forth. Now I like that better. Okay. I'm going to bring this back. Whoop. I think what I'm going to do is 
So I am going to take the tail end of this. Hang on, I'm going to tip this off. There we go. And then I'm going to take, we're going to do one more dip. One more dippity dip. Because this right here is kind of bothering me. I love this little bit right here, but this right here is kind of bothering me. So we're just going to do a tiny little dip and pull. Just a teeny tiny one. Like, just like that. And I'm trying to think of how I want to do this. So let's pull. I'm just going to pull just like this. Okay, Let's spray this guy down again. Get him all clean. Because that white negative, this white negative space didn't bother, that doesn't bother me because it's got color around it and it's, it, that gives your eye a place to rest. But this one just looked wonky. <clears throat> okay, just cleaning the chain. Just yanking my own chain. <laughs> okay. I'm going to tip this down just a little bit. Eh, trying not to get, like, completely full of paint again. There we go. And no, if you're new to the channel, I do not wear gloves unless I'm working with resin. Then I wear gloves. Because who wants to be covered in resin? Okay, we're going to rock this back and forth. Because I want that to touch that. i got to watch my other areas. So here is a chain pull that doesn't look like a chain pull. Okay, we're going to tip this even further over. We're bringing the chain pull to the next level. Let me tip that back a little bit more. Now there's not so much paint on here. That I, I could have gone, I could have chipped off more paint before I did the pulls. So if you're going to do this and try this, um, I would suggest tipping off as much paint as possible. And I do have one where I do a, um, I'm, that's one of the videos that's coming up here. I did some batch filming. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. I actually like, like this, but let's torch this real quick. But I did some batch filming. And I did, I was playing with chain and different kinds of pours already and then coming in and embellishing them with the chain and they turned out really cool. But those are upcoming videos. So be sur sure to join us on Friday Night Flip Cup because my friend Brooke is going to be with us and we're going to have some funs and some snorts and, and some alcoholic beverages probably. But, all right, let's torch this. Gloves, what are those? Exactly, Chris. Let me see if I can get some of this to open up a little bit. There's some freckles, because it would not be a Tish painting if it didn't have freckles. 
Yeah, this is the cloud core white. I can tell by the way it's reacting. So <clears throat> if you want to know how I mix my cloud core mix, um, there's a link in the description. There's also <clears throat> links in the description for you to help support the channel. Um, <clears throat> I've got PayPal, I've got Patreon, and, you know, Amazon is a great thing. Helps keep me in paint so I can keep bringing you stuff, you know. But PayPal helps me pay my internet bill because <laughs> starting in July, I got to pay more for that. I'm not really happy about that. It's like, look, dude. But I'm hoping that if I'm going to pay more, I hope, I'm hoping that I get to go up to a gigabyte. Because a gigabyte up and a gigabyte down would be pretty freaking amazing. I just need to get Frank, my computer, to cooperate. But I've got all the components on that wish list, too, for a new computer build. Because I'm challenging myself to build a new computer. And here we go with the close-up. Let's see. I like it this way. Or this way. And I like that the colors have blended. I, I love that green gold. That green gold right there is just... But you can see that white is kind of layered over the top. Where do you find the Amazon wish list? It's in the description box below. Um... In fact, all of my links are in the description box below. I have a lot of stuff in that description box. And if you're if you are wanting to expand your uh, YouTube channel, I have all my favorite YouTubers in there that are growth channels or just you know Travis MCP. He's he is a vidIQ guy, and he has helped me a lot with my channel because I've seen channels my size. You know, I've only been on YouTube since last July. And I've hit it hard, and I've been doing lives instead of edited videos because editing videos is like the bane of my existence. I would rather do dishes <laughs> than edit videos. That's like sincerely, and I hate doing dishes. I hate washing dishes. Oh, but I live in an apartment with no dishwasher. So anybody want to come be my dishwasher for me? <laughs> Oh, anywho. So what do you think, guys? You think this is a success? I I actually like that white right there. I'm, like, drawn to it. It's, like, all this color and all this, and then, oh, I get to rest right there. And it's just a little tiny 8x10 canvas. It's not anything grandiose or anything. But, and I think I'm going to just, I've got some plastic wrap. Let's put some plastic wrap on here. Oh, that's not the open. That's the closed one. And I get my plastic wrap at the dollar store. Because plastic wrap is awful, evil things. <laughs> but I have an idea to do a, a reverse dip, double dip. And I think this will work for what I want to do. So, arguing with the plastic wrap. All right. So we're going to put this, I'm going to let this just sit right on top of that. Because that's going to be part of another project. Whoa, okay, that didn't work. Okay, well, I guess we got a little bit of everything going on right there. See, plastic wrap is not your friend. Because it's staticky and it's awful. All right. That's going to work for what I wanted to work. All right. So we're going to put that back there so I don't spill it. And put it in the... That actually looks kind of cool. Let's torch that. That looks like an accident on purpose. That's actually really cool. Okay. So, tomorrow night. Yeah, oopsie. But you know what? It looks really cool. Hang on. Let me show you. It looks really cool. Oop. If I can pick it up. I can, and there goes Betty Boop. But there, see, it looks, ah, uh, stupid auto adjust. It looks really cool. It looks like it was supposed to be there like that. So, maybe that's a good thing about doing the chain pull is because you already got the chaotic. Okay, I need purple. 
There we go. There we go. That's better. Better corner. Usually I use my knife, but my knife is indisposed at the moment. So, yeah, exactly. Happy accident. Happy accident. Yes. Plastic wrap is the bane of human existence. <laughs> plastic, plastic wrap and tape, and then you've got the, the king of all things that are bane of existence, and that is press and seal. It is an awesome product. Don't get me wrong. I love it. I do, but I hate it just as much as I love it. <laughs> well, hello, serendipity. <laughs> yep, that might be serendipity. Yep, it's very serendipitous. It was supposed to be there. Exactly. So, um, let's see. Tomorrow night is Artapalooza, and that starts at 7.30 Central Time. So, I'm going to post a link in the comments here so you can get over there. And I'm sorry, my, uh, my mouse is going berserk because the humidity is, like, not liking it. But go over there and set your reminder. And then also, um, Thursday morning, I do a beginner's course. So if you're new to acrylic pouring, um, what we'll be going over is, um, oh, dang it. <laughs> we'll be going over, like, colander pours um, and that kind of thing and what consistency of paint I use. Um, and it's it, it, for me, it's it's... Each painter has their own way of doing things, and you just got to learn from a bunch of painters and find your own way. But if I can he help you find your way, groovy. So, when you get butterflies in your stomach, does it mean fear or excitement? Hmm, that is a good question. I'm going to put, you guys, these are all questions I'm going to put on a rotation to ask. Um, and then... Um, and then you guys will get to be able to ask your own questions in the chat as well. So, um, I know you guys are awesome. Looking forward to Artapalooza. Hey, Serendipity, we'd love to have you on Artapalooza. The link for the, for, um, for the Artapalooza form. And it's a really simple form. It takes you all of three minutes. It's just so I have a basic idea of who you are and what you do and, um, what you're interested in doing and I'll also post that link in the chat and then You know just fill it out it takes three to five minutes, you know depends on how fast you type. I guess I type 65 words a minute. So <laughs> Yahoo chat, okay, that's that's how I learned how to type not by a typing class Anywho, um, so I will see you guys tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Central Time for Artapalooza or Thursday morning um, with Coffee with Tish for our beginner basics. And if there's any ideas or if there's anything you need to say, if there's anything at all that I can help you with, please just find me on Facebook, find me on Twitter, and just let me know because I am here to help you guys become bigger and better and just the awesome things that you can achieve. I want to help you do that. So, and I am not an expert in everything. I'm a Jane of all trades, trades master at some. Okay? I can make some mean bread, y'all. <laughs> you know what? Even if you just give me an email, just even if you give me an email address and just go through and check, 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 and we can figure out the rest from there, we'll go. Awesome. I'm glad you learned. That's 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 what we need to what we need. That's what this channel is about. Inspiration, support, love. You know, that's what we do here. So, you know, if you could if you found this information, this trial, this thing useful, please share it out there on the interwebs and smash that like button. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. For joining me tonight i am grateful that you're here remember be kind to one another peace love and happiness